Hill, they didn't. And a major reason they didn't is Theodore Roosevelt was president then. He called together a group of men to share the picture over there, and they part of an organization that became the NCAA. Backboards were not good enough so you could bounce the ball in, but to keep people from messing with the game. Our basketball is not from that time period, but it's similar, and it's not inflated very well, but even if it were, it'd be hard to dribble. But that wasn't a problem, because back then there wasn't any dribbling. I'd pass to him, he'd pass to him, he'd pass to him. Girls, you couldn't play yet. He'd pass to him. Yes, there is. Back from the Urban Media Project. And today, we are in the Hall of Honor, and this recognizes and acknowledges all the greatest athletes of all time. The Hall of Honor recognizes former and current student athletes whose outstanding achievements exemplify the true championship and spirit. Like Peyton Manning and all these other great people who not only did sports and were super great at them, but they also changed the world and took steps at a time to make the place like the world a better place, basically. 2005, Sally Ride. She went to Stanford University. She was a tennis player. But not only that, she was an astronaut, too. What did you guys think about the trip? I thought it was, it was pretty good. Fun. It was interesting. I got one. I learned chicken nuggets. I got one. She's like sweet stuff. I got to like take that shot. Art, 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 history. Instead of wearing like sweaters and old t-shirts, they changed it to pads and more protective things so they can wear. And they've also added helmets so less injuries every year. That's all.